Welcome back to RG Dream League Season 8! That was a beatdown, I mean, that, that's all I can say about that. Liquid just dominated that game, Empire did not stand a chance. There was a 13 minute tier 3 tower, which is the 6th fastest so far on this patch of all the games played. That is crazy, and it just, it wasn't very exciting. It was a whooping. It was just... It was a whooping. The most exciting part to me was watching that tier 2 tower top, and it was literally just miracle tanking while a siege unit... Like, you don't expect Timur to be able to push a tower, but you get a siege unit friend with you, and you just tank the tower, let your buddy do the work. Yeah. That was hype. That was, that was <laughs> hype the most damage, unhealable God. damage I've ever seen. Super hype. Yeah, yeah, that was uh, what we were expecting yeah. uh, a lot of people to see. But personally, I think that that beatdown was a good thing for him. Oh, was it? It was a good thing. Because sure. yeah. you know what? Now they know we can be tryhards and we're probably still going to lose. So let's do something crazy. Let's have some fun next game. Let's well, pull out the crazy strats. You got to you gotta first be reminded about what that game was like just to really get fueled. So let's take a look at the replay. And so maybe Empire will watch it and think, wow, we can't let that happen again. Uh, this is uh, this is bottom lane. There's a, uh, there's a timber saw. Yeah. Let's see it. Let's go. Uh, we're going back a little we're bit first. Backwards. We're going backwards. There was a tower and then there was there. not a tower, basically. Okay. So Sand King here trying to buy a little bit of time. That didn't work too great. Uh, pushing in on the tower. Underlord putting the fire in, putting the damage. Miracle though. He's just taking, he doesn't take damage. He, he has 50. Look damage. at his armor. Look dying. at his armor. Circle the armor for me. It's That's right there, 40 guys. armor. That's the armor. There's 40. 40, 40 of those. I mean, he's just tanking the tower, and the bear is tanking the tower, and it's just... It, at this point, Empire cannot do anything. Empire's I really am... looking like this. They can't do anything. They're looking like babies. Yeah. <laughs> babies that, you know, aren't working. <laughs> They're just bored old babies. I knew that was coming, too. Sorry. <laughs> but those babies, they ain't dancing, Fever. Grab, get out of here. What am I doing? Oh, just, <laughs> what am I, I doing wrong? <laughs> Draft is on. We are ready for the second yeah. game of the series. <laughs> and uh, we have Grant in the, the right, war what, room. Who do we got banned? Who do we got banned? I will tell you we got banned. We got banned Earthshaker, Earth Spirit, Marana, Queen of Pain, and a Brewmaster. A Brewmaster. A oh, Brewmaster. So, so the Earth Brothers. The Earth. Do you know Earth Spirit and Earthshaker are brothers? From another mother. God, I, I hate you so much. <laughs> I just, in lore. Oh, I just wish you never happened. <laughs> <laughs> Who else? Uh, Night Stalker. Uh, Night Stalker and Brew. We didn't even see. Night Stalker got banned last game, Shiver. Sorry. Or did it just not get picked? No, it got banned. Okay. Just making sure. No, oh, yeah. That's fine. Got banned by Empire twice now. Ooh. Ooh. The secret weapon to defeating them? What? Empire. Winter Wyvern? <laughs> Winter Wyvern picked up again. How do you just leave this hero unbanned? I this hero is nuts. How does a Night Stalker beat a Winter Wyvern in this patch? I do not know. Well, Night Stalker's banned. I know, but how, how is he going to beat him in the priority ban list? As well? Oh, yeah. That's Get clever rid of the Wyvern. She's gone from the sole worst hero at TI to the game winner. Not only that, like the Winter Wyvern a level 15 with the night vision is like a Night Stalker now. It is. Yeah, it is. It is. Facts. Oh, Beastmaster Enchantress, huh? Hello. Enchantress. So, CIS, they're still the region who likes playing Enchantress as support. I'm not a fan, but there you go. And Beastmaster in the offlane. Like a lot of teams open up the draft with two heroes that can go anywhere. You have a Beastmaster, he's going offlane, so if you have a Beastmaster, where's Enchantress going? Into the woods! Exactly, so they don't really, I don't know, there's just not much versatility in this draft. <laughs> he asked the question, I've got to answer, okay? Into the woods! <laughs> That's right, Shiver, great job! <laughs> Thank you! You guys ever watch Dora the Explorer? Oh, I love Dora! Do you? I hate, is it, what's the map's name? It's Boots, right? There's a really nice. The map's name is Map. Oh. Yeah, because there's a really Boots nice is song. The monkey. Who wears nice I hate it. Boots is so annoying. He's so condescending. What do you mean? No. Remaining. Boots is just trying to help. I like Dora. She cares about what I think. She always asks me before she makes judgments, unlike everyone else in my life. Shiver. <laughs> what did I do? You never, you never say. You know, 
do you know what the next hero is going to be? All right, all right, go, all right. What's the next hero, Jake? And it's, do like, you know what the next hero is going to be? <laughs> well, do you? Do you? <laughs> do you? Well? That's a life deal. <laughs> well, why do you got to put the well at the end? Dora well. never does that. She never... She lets me take my time. <laughs> but back to boots. I hate boots. Boots is a man. Swiper's even better. Wait, is it? What's one swiper? The backpack? No. The backpack's name is Backpack. <laughs> well, who's Swiper? He swipes. Yeah, but what is he? He's in the background. He's a fox. Why? Well, I mean, it is a kind of racial profiling that the fox is going to be a thief, but I don't know. <laughs> Man, I bet Dora's hot ten now. What? She is a cartoon. All right, cut the show. <laughs> <laughs> Someone that was like 10 Lord. years ago. Shit, she's probably like Lord. 26 now. Lord. Cartoons Lord. don't grow up. <laughs> Jeez. You know <laughs> Doris. She works out a lot. She's probably grown. I mean, she does a lot of hiking. Florida. She can train a monkey. Tell me that's not hot. What is going on? <laughs> Shadow Demon's gonna pop up here. And that's a Slardar. That is a Slardar. I've seen I've seen a carry Slardar. Slardar getting played earlier today in like a 9k pub game. That was odd. Wow. Well, he does have that new talent. He can go through the river now. He's quick. Five the first three. river uh, uh, integration in the Oops. game. Yeah. yeah. Where is Morphling's version, huh? He is water. I, I guess this guy's just going to be... We'll just put and him in the And Naga Siren is a fish, too. You're telling me that she can't benefit from that? And what about Slark? He's a fish. Well, okay. Why can't they go faster in the river? The fish yes! To to now? Why did they get... Why did Why did Slardar get the benefit? Why uh, did he... He's part of the Slithering Guard. It's his job to traverse and capture people and, you know, be in quick pursuit. And in the water, he's at Actually, all. that's not what the Slithering Guard out is at all. But okay, go ahead. Nah, I mean, you, you hate the Warcraft 3 looks. Do that you know what the Slithering Guard does? <laughs> well. <laughs> well? <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up! <laughs> all right, so Shadow Demon. This is the second time we're seeing it today, right? After not seeing it at all? That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, that's nuts. Shadow Demon. See, I told you Empire's going to do some crazy jazz right here. This is their chance, man. But, like, what is Shadow Demon? What's the synergy? So far, there's no synergy just yet, unless yet. he accidentally spawns a uh, centaur. Here How about that? comes oh, the Kunkka pick. Trust me. Ghost Fleet? You can't so you stop want him to, that. So you want him to do a middle Kunkka? Yeah. That's, uh, oh. Ghost Fleet, Shiver? <sighs> it just feels like they're already drafted into a corner. You know what all three of their roles are going to be? I guess you know the same about Liquid. But Liquid, yeah. like, they just feel so much more fluid already. I but do we know what Slardar's going to do? Yeah, he's roaming. But he could be off lane. No. Well, if they want to lose, he could be. I guess. I don't, I don't think they want to lose. Though. I don't think so either. I don't think they want to. No, lose. I think Slardar is. He's good. Five percent carry, ninety-five percent roaming. That's about. Beno man. There's a hero that died, and he's back from the grave. I don't think we've seen him since seven point oh. There's I a reason. We saw him once, didn't we? No. no. I don't believe so. I don't think so. so either. I would have remembered that beautiful picture. That All right, Cheever, one or two. Ten seconds remaining. As a Finamancer? Yeah. Wow. The pick. safe lane. I would say safe All lane. Right. Safe lane with the shadow demon. Yeah. I mean that's a free gale, right? That's nice. That's but a what? It's a free gale. Oh. You put him under and then gale. Now it seems like uh, Legion Commander might see a little bit more now that uh, gale is. That was the biggest thing. Seven point zero, right? It's or seven point zero seven. You can purge off gale. So Legion right. Commander would be good. Oh, yeah. Gale. That's interesting. I like your thinking there, Grant. Thank you. Easy purging. There's not a lot of purges left in this game. No. What is there? Is it a dying breed? Yeah. Does yeah. repel doesn't purge, right? So if you repel Gale, will it? I know before it wouldn't unslow you. Hmm. No, I don't believe so. I think you're correct. Or else you have a Winter Wyvern Omni Knight again, and we have seen that. Oh. Not lose. Hey, we could still do that. Oh, it could still work, Grand. Could still happen Pretty if you put the Slardar safe lane farming. Although Shadow Demon is the hard counter to Omni Knight if people know how to play it. Who is? Shadow Demon. Why? Just a lot of purging. He has one purge. Demonic purge. Yeah, fact. and he has one. He could have two if he gets an egg on him. I'm telling you, oh. he has the ability to <laughs> you know, put Omni Knight away, put him in the bubble, demonic purge off, ults, repels, all the good shit. He's real good. All the stuff. Thanks. Trust me. What about Faceless Void? Just Ooh. kidding. I was kidding. That's a terrible pick. I just wanted to see what you'd say. Ooh, I'm thinking about it. They're taking their time of picking up with this hero, by the Legion. way. And they're going to take Legion here. Well, they got spooked. Everybody in the last patch, especially Liquid, who has had to play a lot of high caliber games, when they see Venomancer, it's just like, that's the PTSD. Yeah. Oh, what do we do? Maybe yeah. they forgot, you know? What other heroes have we forgotten about? 
Necro foes. Necro. I don't think he's that bad. I'm really surprised he's just left now. He's just gone. He's just left off the, the pig face. Where's Anti-Mage today? Anti -mage. Gone, thank goodness. We might see, I mean, Liquid, now they don't, they already have a life steal. But he's still really good, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'd, I'd say he's good. But I guess he people are figuring out, like, how to lock him down, whatnot, stuns, and I don't know. I think he's good. Are we sure that Liquid is still in this game? I mean, they're taking... Oh, there we go. Storm. Storm Gracious. Spirit. Maybe they just wanted a random challenge or something. But Storm. Now nah, they still have like three seconds of whatever. Yeah. We're just... We'll throw this bad boy middle here. Yeah. So they pick the mid first, leaving the last pick to be most likely the off lane. Yeah. Ten seconds remaining. Shiver, you still... You want it to be a Slardar off lane, don't you? Five seconds remaining. Um... Nah, I want it to be four. It's crazy. Okay All those that. retired three heroes that just go to the four. Yeah. Flardar, Clockwork, just losers. <laughs> Sad. It's a bit of a downgrade, but, you know, they still get to get out there on the field. Except Beastmaster got promoted, remember? Like, Aoi 2000 stuff used to jungle Beastmaster. Yeah. Now he's promoted to the three role, can do his own thing. Good for him. Good for him. The master There's of all a Legion people. ban, by the way. It's like you called it, Grant. Yeah, that's... Easy purge off the Venom. That's Good just stuff. a really smart ban. One of the best bans I've seen all Dream League. Wow. That's fantastic. <laughs> so we're looking for a mind control hero for Team Liquid. Um, um, I mean, Omni Knight's still not bad. They, I, I hate Nyx in the three roll, maybe. but they just profit Nyx is not as bad well. in this game. Well, they just profit was banned last game. Remaining. What do you think about that one? Versus Beastmaster, Enchantress, Shadow Demon. Great? There's a lot of catch. Yeah. Whatever happened to Doxia, huh? We ain't seen no Doxia. Well, why would you want him here? What does I'm he do? I'm just asking what happened to him. He doesn't do anything. He, he farms up like he's like a carry, but he's in the off lane and he just iron shells pushes lanes he and tries to get long. farm. Yeah, he takes really long to get online and then it like makes less space for your carry. That's about it. Ten Who got banned? <clears throat> it was a dro ranger that got banned. Oh, and we're waiting for the last Five pick for liquid and remaining. empire has last pick overall. So empire is still what we believe are looking for their mid laner. Team Unless it's a Vano. <clears throat> and it's a zoo. That's a Zeus off lane then or? I guess, I think. Or a Slardar offlane, what? <laughs> what? Uh, if it actually is, All right. then I will say congratulations. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling the Zeus. Zeus does a lot of burst damage. Ten seconds. But I mean, you felt the Zeus last time too, he still lost. I mean, he owned though. But he owned, he was sure. That's all that matters, individual stats. If Allen Iverson, wait, is this, this is a European show. If, uh, if Pele taught me anything <laughs> in soccer, Individual stats are more important than winning. We're in Europe now, it's football. Football, don't forget the umlaut, Grant. Oh, that Venna was mid? Oh, Sven, I knew it. I'm just kidding, Sven, huh? So we're just gonna, boom, Venno mid, Sven there, I'm out. Yeah, bye. See ya. All, All right, right, Liquid. Liquid, says Grant. Liquid. There's no doubt in his mind. I mean, what what does Empire do? Wait a second, wait a second. It's the Sven offlane. Ghostick is playing Sven and Silent is playing Venno. What's happening? So Who's playing mid? mid? Who's Who's playing mid? Wait a minute. Where's FN? Just, FN's Beastmaster? Just stay liquid and let's roll. <laughs> FN's playing Beastmaster? <laughs> All right, so Grant, you're saying liquid. Yeah. What do you think, Jake? You know what? <clears throat> Who's Jay? Call me crazy. Call me a, a Wally Wally Willow, but I'm gonna go for Liquid. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. I give up, I give up real on nuts. you, Empire. Right, I'm going for Liquid as well. I'm we'll find out if wrong. Empire can pull this one off, though. They really, they, they could. We're gonna find out. <laughs> in fact, I would pick someone fucked. Thank you very much. Yes, game two now. Team Liquid versus Empire. I'm only picking someone here with fogged. So. We see the drafts. It it is something a little bit different. So switch it around. The expected hero player matchups. Um, on a, we'll see if they do switch it back. They keep it. No, they switch. They did switch it back. They okay, the they gone back to what you expect to see. On so yeah, the they Empire. So they did do the Venom mid. When I saw you know, they had no disables versus Storm, I was yep. like, okay, they need to pick something that at least has some type of stun slash disable in the safe lane. Much better. So they go for the Sven. So at least the Sven works in two ways. It's a disable works for the Storm and works well versus that Slardar corrosive haze. However, I'm not really oh. liking it their chances here. Enchantress Shadow Demon, they have to get, they actually have to snowball so out of control for Empire to win this game. And then, I mean, we've seen what happens with these guys. Like, they can be good in the lane, lane game, but then their game plan shuts down. So yeah, it looks like it should be pretty hard for them here in Liquid. They're going for a five-man invasion play. They smoke through the mid lane. 
Matu actually gets revealed. They're thinking that there's a hero there, but I think Miracle actually just pings the tower instead. So he's like, all right, whoops. Matu draws the line elsewhere. Enchantress, Miposhka? Who's going to be the battle. culprit? Isn't going to be anybody. At the moment, still undetected yet. It, no one really from Empire quite close enough to bite, and unless they do come in for that bounty. Oh, now they're going to go for the, the bounty rune. And Ghostic didn't see anybody top, so they're, they're still right now. They're knowing something. Yep, and the ward spot. Yeah. So at the least, we'll just get the, well, Liquid just get the two wards. Uh, sorry, the two bouncy runes and Empire the Return. You get the two elsewhere. So they're going aggro, it looks like, this time around. Matu starts with a mango and the double reach sets a regen, and Zeus is heading toward top with four clarities. So aggro tri lane again, and they're putting Zeus 1v1. So okay. that's a guarantee that he'll get experience. Oh, Miracle missed his block. Oh, Miracle. Ouch. Not kicked. And FN has a very good block. So they should be able to bully Miracle quite a lot. I think that's all they should do. Just Enchantress should just sit mid, get a creep, bring him mid over and over again. And yeah, not a nice start for Miracle. Yeah, bottom now, Sven's going to suffer though. Sven's going to get no farm down here at all. Just under the tower, that is. Let's see how he does. Oh, he got it tonight. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Get, gets a little bit of a look in, but now the creep wave coming back up. To Miracle's high ground. So almost a minute in, Enchantress is going to be able to start grabbing creeps and should just literally send them to mid non-stop. They should just keep throwing gales, throwing creeps at this Storm Spirit over and over again. And the first gale comes out, Miracle slowed up and putting some harassment. But now GH finds Miposhka. So it's Miposhka versus GH. Forces the TP out. So let's see if they can snowball though. Let's see what Empire can make happen with this lineup. Because if the, the game goes later and later, it gets harder and harder not to do with the Storm Life Stealer uh, in, in Fest Bomb. Yeah, and so far so good in terms of like they're not struggling massively with the lane matchups that they've got. Uh, Ghost Stick's doing fine up on top. Yep. He's, uh, he's not feeling the harassed too much at all from Mind Control. Sure, Mind Control is trading farm as it is, but with the stick out and Ghost Stick, he should be fine. Yeah. So Lightning's fueling it up for him. Silence getting some last hits as well, but now Open Wounds does come out. Kuroki does not have the Arctic Burn for quite a while, and Slardar is not in range to get a crush either. So Silence is just fine, and he's getting a, some fun last hits. He's pulling the yeah, creep aggro nicely. Yeah, alright. I mean, already these first two minutes, they certainly don't look to sort of go as drastically bad as they did for Empire in Game 1. Yep. They drafted more for, like, lanes this time. I mean, it's Enchantress, Shadow Demon. That That's just, like... 100% about the laning phase. And now Miposhka does get two creeps, smokes up, trying to look for an opportunity. They, I think he should just go mid, yeah. I think that's the best thing to do. It's the easiest kind of kill. Bottom can get turned on too easily. And Miracle should die here quite easily to this. Yeah. This is looking to be a good first blood. Even with the TP in front of Slaughter, there's nothing he can do to turn that one around. Miposhka very, making a very nice moment with it. GH will look for some action in return. Verifies pop by FN and deep with that. There's not enough damage. In fact, GH, I think he certainly will if they've got another trap coming out. Oh. But it looks like they're still on cool down. The right clicks may be enough. GH turns with the crush. So GH will survive. It was pretty Miracle. close, but now Miracle's in a lot of trouble. That's the, the gale back up and the, the traps are there. GH can only really sort of watch from the sidelines and that's going to be Miracle. Oh! Getting the I mean, I still have And Miposhka dies to the tower. It's still Miracle out of the lane, though. Yeah, he can't TP back either. So, at the end of the day, FN's fine with this. Yep. Lane's going decently. Fan score gets, has to pour it out. Matu's farming. Ghostic's doing great top, though, versus that Zeus, as yeah, he should be. Of this... course, it's, I mean, Zeus can't bully out a Beastmaster by any means, so... That will happen. But my control, This is the, the important thing is that he's not a sacked off-lane Zeus or something like this. He's going to be a farmed, high-level Zeus that can get involved nice and early. And that mid lane, that's CS. 19 for 6 on FN against the 9 for 1. It's, it's double CS for FN. Thanks to the way that Empire have been able to play this mid lane. And that little play from the Poshka, even though he does end up giving up his life, it absolutely does it for this matchup and gives FN that edge that he needs to, to stay ahead. Silent. Looking towards Kuro, but no real reason to chase too far for that one. 
Rush for GH. I'm gonna catch the creeps. In fact, Vanskull's there. Yeah, Crow's in a lot of trouble here. Poison but, standing up. Silence here too. Yeah, they're just gonna look towards Kuroki and they're gonna get it. Yep. Empire. Absolutely doing it. As you said, they've drafted for the lanes. And they are. They, they are 100 percent pulling it off here in this early game. This is some really nice movements and and they're, they're just coming out on top of Liquid in these these first five minutes. Yeah, they've completely zoned uh, Miracle to the jungle. They yeah. can't walk near FN. FN actually can just do this on his own now. So now Enchantress are emphasized on either ganking the Zeus lane or Dying trying to just kill the supports. I think just ganking the Zeus lane is a better option. Could even just farm a bit as well. Since now they've alleviated the pressure off of uh, Silent, they've, I think Liquid realized that this isn't working out too well for them in the lanes. Losing... Kind of losing all three lanes here. Matumba Man was putting pressure on Empire on uh, Silence in that safe lane, but here we go. Ghost Nick gets spotted out. Matu with the rotation, the Life Stealer gank top. Ah, it's gonna work out. Yeah. No escape for Ghost Nick. And that was the top net worth hero. No that sort of opens up the lanes again for for Liquid that movement. Gets Matu in that better position. Yep. Sends my control bot. He's gonna have Soul Ring soon with on top of those Arcane boots. Lots of pings coming out. That's what Van score. He's trying to give him a ward. I think they weren't communicating that properly. <laughs> FN level 6 now has the ultimate ready. Miracle level 5, almost 6. Can start nuking out the waves a bit in the mid lane. Once he's got 6, he's a lot safer. They only have Roar to really bring him down. Or a Sven rotation with a stun, which is very unlikely. GH spots out Miposhka. Miposhka going to trade some hits versus each other. GH really wants that rune. He gets it mid lane. The FN's ulti does it. Okay, this catch on Miracle. Miracle is going to be ticking pretty low. Has the TP. I think Kuroki actually gave him that. Yeah, Kuroki gave him the TP so that he can go home. Nice little friendship teamwork there. Yeah, there's a regen ring down bottom. Let's see if, uh, if either of those are able to grab it. Again, it's. Yeah, it's. it's oh, my fans were just melting. Mind control there with the poison. He just got, what, five stacks, I guess. I didn't catch the end of that one. Goes to top. Trying to put pressure onto Matu here. With the rotation from Vanscore too. Matu's in some trouble. He's got rage. He's got stick. I don't but he's in Alice. a lot of trouble here. Yeah. Salve, TP. Oh, that might do it. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, he's gonna... The axes couldn't quite come out in time from Ghost Stick. Nice play there by Matu to survive. Looked a bit scary for a moment. Chase down onto Silent. If they've got enough burst, mind control. He is full on the mana, nearly hitting six. One creep would do it, but Vanscore's there. Holds back one of them, and that buys the space for Silent to get out. And this really is... It's its looking so much better for Empire this game, too. They're... I mean, it's the lanes, as you sort of said in game one as well. The way that Liquid played sort of caught Empire off guard. It was a very hard game for Silent to do anything with that PA. Yeah. But this oh. time around, they've actually got heroes that, that do do stuff in these, this early game. Liquid found a triple stack. Hey. And my control with that arc lightning spam, they have taken the entire thing pretty much. Yep, it's all gone. Oh, gets one from Vanscore with that poison. But yeah, Liquid takes the entire stack from that Sven. Dyer's and a well played comes out from my control. And Miracle just needs time to catch up. He's yep. did suffer heavily in the laning stage. Well, let's see what they can get here. And Poshko and Ghost Stick. Primal Roar back online. They find a target, they'll go for it, and they're looking towards Kuro. Winter's Curse is down. Straight up. Holds back Ghost Stick. Doesn't get the chance to get the Roar off. So they will not be able to get themselves that kill. Matuma Man's waiting on the high ground. He's still got his eyes on Ghost Stick. As I said, Ghost Stick does have the Roar. He can use it defensively if he needs to hold back Matuma Man. Matuma Man goes for the Rage 4, but it's Maposhka. The one actually manning up on the back lines with the heel and the stick. Oh, he's going for the TP. Surely he doesn't make it. Oh, he does. Oh, my God. He nice gets TP. out underneath the noses of three of them, even with the Thunder God's Wrath expended. He is he's pulling off some cheeky little plays, Maposhka on this Enchantress. This yeah, he's having some successful rotations. and I mean, the lane dominance is continuing for sure, but they are alleviating pressure off a of Miracle, which is the important thing. That's all they really want to do. He's got Soul Ring finished up, and it's not like they're super far behind. It's only a 1k lead, which... I mean, coming out of the laning, I think uh, it's okay for Empire, but they need to be doing so much because, like we mentioned, as the game progresses, it gets very, very dangerous for them. So they are d at least trying to do that with these Ancient stacks. They have a triple Ancient now with a Mask of Madness finished on the Sven, so he can go to look and farm that. 
in a relatively short period uh, pizza, uh, pizza time. Yep, let's see how Ghostic's doing. He's getting closer to that book. Almost has book one. That'll be pretty nice for them to at least try to claim some towers with their yeah. slight kill advantage. I mean, yeah, they've certainly got a good push and they've got good ways to fight around those sort of early pushes with the Venno up. And uh, at a point where, you know, Liquid up oh, top, Ghostic. He's got to be a little careful and does have to roar and run back from this one. Defensive roars, though. GH, see if he can get a catch onto it. Just going forward. Oh, he wanted the hog. Oh, GH walks in and there's a net. And there's there's a lot of creeps there. That GH is gone. Black Seas. Got Miposhka had the had the centaur and Ghostic summoned to troll. Oh, there. look at this fan score. He's doing some work. He really is on the on the shadow demon. One more poison. Oh, oh he did. You popped it before trying to go for the last one. Miracle. He's got a shrine. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Now Matu throwing more pressure onto Ghostic here, but he still has the netter. I mean, Liquid just aren't. They're not hitting it off like they did in game one. They really aren't. Got a much slower paced lineup this yeah. time around, but yeah. Looking okay for Empire at the moment. Next steps for Liquid. I think warding out those Ancients. It looks like that's exactly what GH is going to be doing. So we're probably going to see a big clash happen at that Ancient stack when Sven does go for looking to do that. Oh, look at this. goes Invis, though. Uh-oh, GH. You are dead, sir. Absolutely. With FN in. And the girl ready to go. Pops it out with the ult. GH. He's like, Ancient. Kill me! Oh, oh he, he gets it off as well. And that's a long cooldown. 140 seconds on that Venomancer roll. Stopping Empire from getting a little bit of a bonus, but at the same time, not really finding anything for his own side. Mm -hmm. With those sort of plays, it's, it's not super productive from Liquid. Uh, it's allowing Empire to continue to... Island bottom, going lead. for mind control. Pops the God Strength, gets the stun. Mask of Madness now. Can he chase out MC? There's no TPs coming in just yet. Got the stun again in a couple of seconds, but... Yeah, now, now Silent can get turned on here. Yeah, he's got to be careful. Then it goes Rast available if they get Silent low enough. Good stun to hold back GH, but they'll chase it down with the Lightning Bolt. And Thunder God's Rast. get him here. Oh, where's the crush? Oh, no, there it is. Gets the kill. TP coming in from FN. Gale quickly thrown onto Mind Control. FN looking for the revenge kills. Can he finish off Mind Control? He denies him. Oh, again, he's denies from And GH is going to get the kill. Oh, yeah. All righty. He's done what he's done. A couple of denies. There's a zoo He's top, killed though. himself. He's just so good at stopping them from getting the kills. This tier 2 tower drops incredibly fast. That book plus three neutrals. It's dead. Oh, look at that push. Bottom now, though. Vanscore is in a lot of trouble here. Four heroes surrounding him. He dead. Yes, indeed. But look, the push is going to continue. They're not stopping from that tier two. They're ready to knock onto the tier threes. We saw Liquid game one. Doing this, what, we a tier 3 in what, 30 minutes? Empire, they're looking to beat that record, and in fact, they may just get it. That's going to be a 12 minute tier 3 going down. Ghostic tries to TP out, but Miracle's there with the Electric Vortex, drags him in. Will punish him, but they lose GH. Silent gets the kill. With that haste, you're able to chase him down, and they've just lost a tier 3 at 12 minutes in. Yeah, they're putting the aggression up very well, and now that pushed everybody top to oh, react, and now Silent agent. can actually farm them. Yeah. This is this is looking pretty decent. They've got to keep this aggression up. They can't let Liquid slow the pace down. This is fantastic stuff from Empire, really, as we'll see it again down bottom. GH with his cute little plays. The chase down, the take down, and the take away. can't believe how fast that FN actually ended up dying look, here. Look, this deny, yeah, that's deny that comes through. The Dying arcane boot uses by my control. Oh, he, look at that. He holds that. He's the attack. He gets the exact moment. GH. FN's probably really up, unhappy with that one. Oh, yeah. He's to it. He's got to keep it cool, though. This is not a game to lose it in. Up against Liquid. Miracle. Closing the gap. Just get some Poshka. Doing a good job of playing around with Miracle. Doing more damage to Miracle than Miracle's doing to him. Blink dagger now on Sven, so they're gonna look oh, for some aggressive yeah, plays here. Oh, blink dodge. Ooh, it's nice. Oh, so he's to find him. He's kind of deep, but he's kind of far away from his team, though, with that sort of play. Hold back GH with the stun. Blink in two. And oh. he blinks right into Matuma Man. Yeah, Matuma Man's gonna be there with the open wounds. Oh, it's only level oh. one open wounds, yeah, though. Yeah, can't quite close the gap. You're right, he can't reach him. They'll turn towards Vanscore, but Vanscore as well is getting away. That, yeah, level one open wounds. 
not having to reach the grab to slow him down. Bit of a greedy build, but he was going. He was landing versus the Beastmaster for True. a while, so he wanted the extra uh, sustain from that beast. But yeah, they missed the kill because of that level one open wounds. Wow. Now the mid tower in trouble. Empire continuing to do what they do well with their lineup, pushing down the objectives 14 minutes in. Oh, but they, they gave up both Necrobooks to Matu, so that's 300 gold going his way. But yeah, they're, they're taking out a bunch of towers. They need to keep this aggression on, as we were saying. Miracle goes for the Kaya again. I like that. This time on the Straight spot. Up. Yeah, before the Bloodstone. He needs, they need something that's going to allow them to be a bit more active at this stage in response to the way the Empire playing. Because Empire is getting away with a lot. This yeah. is a very rich spend. Silence, 7.2k. Yep. Miracle, uh, Kaya is actually one of the better items on Storm because it reduces the zip mana. It's really damn good. Uh, also, did they fix it? Because it was reducing the zip that it was reducing the zip mana twice. Oh, was it? Because uh, it makes the cost less, and then something to do with the the fact that it the zip works effectively like a mana burn, and the mana burn is less, so it like it reduces. You get both I think of the it reductions. Should reduce the tw the twelve plus point seven. That one you mean? No, but look, what, unless I'm being crazy. So yeah, you see it's mana loss reduction and mana cost. Yeah. It reduces it because it's you're spending mana, yeah. but also because the way that the spell works, you're, you're getting your mana reduced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get 10% twice if you get what I mean. Unless they fix it, I don't know. A but either, either way, it's us. very good. It's yeah. very good Twitch item on Storm. Gonna be like, either yay, way. it's... Or nay, we'll see. But either way, it's it's incredibly oh, good. Absolutely. It helps your mana It's very, so very good. Zip. And top, they get the roar with the book three. Miracle. Oh! Cold Embrace comes out with the oh, curse. Oh, my make God. It? No, Ghosted. he's not. The pure damage from the Impetus is too much for him and Poshka. Oh, but Vansard actually ends up getting, getting the deny on Ghosted because it's the end of the Winter's Curse. Oh, okay. that's cute. But that's a big kill there. Oh, absolutely is. Yeah, knocking down Miracle. And they may just get Kuro as well. They're hunting for him in the trees. Dude, they're keeping the aggression up nicely. They're not letting Liquid slow the pace down. They're making Liquid play at their play their game. Kuro's going to be up. He's dead. Goodbye, sir. Bottom lane. Silent. Oh, Tries to play around with GH, but GH and Mind Control are ready to try and turn. It's pretty tanky. He's going to blink up in a couple of seconds, but Matuma Man's there. He is surrounded. No way that Silent gets out of this one. And Mind Control helps secure the kill. 4k gold lead for them, though, so they got to keep it up, and they have to be able to break high ground, though, is the big thing. And versus Zeus, it can be Zeus and Winter Wyvern, two of the best high ground defenders. They're still quite a ways away from that, too. They still have a couple more towers. And now Miracle going for a pick up onto Miposhka here. Oh, Long jump. Oh, the heal is pretty damn Good strong. Up. And it indeed is too strong for Miracle to fight through. It has to back off. Yeah, with the untouchable. They need the Zeus there to burst down the Enchantress. Or Slaughter if they have a Disable. GH is looking for it with the Infested oh, Life Healer. That's Goodbye. a lot of burst. No way that any sort of heal or passive is going to save that Enchantress. GH has a pretty well-timed Blink Dagger, too. I mean, it's 17 minutes. I mean, he's playing well, GH. That still is damn good. He's done a lot of clutch stuff for Liquid this game, but still, yeah. it's... This is... I mean, it's so nice to see. You know, when you have a game one like it was, you do worry about game two with the way that these teams are going to match up, but Empire, very impressive so far here with this lineup in game two. And uh, we've got a close one on our hands. Definitely not an easy one for Empire by, by no means, even though they have the lead at the, off the lanes. But uh, we can expect a lot of fighting. Silent still doing very well Radiant's in the farm department. How's he doing after the, the Blink Dagger on Silent? He's went for the Yasha. Went for the Yasha, strength. Mm -hmm. Okay, then looking for the, the full out SMY. Yep. And uh, I believe that we're level three Necro book now completed for Ghostic. Yeah, he's got it at a very good time, sub, sub 20 minutes, going for that medallion next. If they can claim all the towers, if they yeah. can get rid of the shrines and they can try to get for a Roche, that can be a very good advantage for them to try to push the high ground. But they do have to, because it still is the same case. If Liquid makes it to the later stages of the game, it's very tough. And Liquid actually making their way into this Roche pit with the Corrosive Haze. They should be able to claim this one pretty easily. I don't think Empire are going to know that this is going on. Empire is going to get two towers, though, with this. For sure. And they may continue afterwards. But yeah. there is a, there a lot, high amount of deep push coming right. out from the side of the lake. To scan it out, they do know it's, uh, it's happening. But uh, as you say, they're, they're just going to stand for it. In fact, they're going to get kills off the back of it as well. Silent jumps in with the cold strength. They bring down Kuro. Fortification actually being used for this tier 2 here. So they could indeed try and pressure for more. They know that there's no Wyvern. Finally, Roshan falls. 
It just will be claimed, of course, by Miracle on the Storm Spirit. And indeed, Empire, they're sticking around. There's still a bit of seconds left. Oh, that jump in from Starland coming in straight off the back lines. Miracle's trying to hold him back, but the rule's out. They've taken down Mind Control on the Zeus. Vortex, but no, they've stunned up Miracle. The Aegis has been popped. Crush for GH catches two. They've lost Ven on the side of Empire, but FN's still trying to fight up, forces himself back. Miracle zips forward, looks for the kill on Ghost to get FN trying to TP back home. Is he going to make it? Oh, he does. Van score buys time with the disruption to allow FN to get back, but the rest of Liquid's not look is looking good. Sorry, it's Empire losing three. They could do hold, but still, I mean, Empire, they're finding trades out of it. They, they take the Aegis immediately out of their hands. <laughs> Matuba Man still dies to the damage from <laughs> FN. I don't think they were expecting to pick up that bonus as well. I think maybe GH probably tried to deny him and it ended up putting a little closer to the to the killer. I, I, bet, he, he, I bet he was trying for the deny uh, if he could, if the, the non-lethal was on him. But still, it's, it's not bad for Empire, even though it's messy. There's no Aegis now on Liquid that Empire have to worry about. And as you said, they take the tier one, they take the tier two, and they, they start knocking on the tier three yet again. SMY is complete. They've got Medallion on Beastmaster. 20 minutes in, Empire, they're still happy with the flow of this game. Yeah, they're happy with the flow. They're making Liquid react, but giving up kills like that when you're at an advantage like this, especially in experience, you give sure. so much. Like you see the Level experience wise, graph yeah. just straight dips down into Liquid's favor. Gold's still there for Empire, and they need to keep this up. They can't let Liquid slow the pace down. Yeah, I definitely, if they, another fight like that, that's when it starts to hit the danger zone for sure. Yeah, it's like they have to stay grouped up as well. If they start splitting up on the map, that's yeah. where the infest bombs start kicking into factor too. The Slardar as well as the Storm Spirit infested. And here we go. They're looking for FN in the mid lane with GH and oh, Matu and they just eat him alive. This is where the worries start to come through. When these sort of plays are coming out from Liquid and aren't getting punished. They'll look for more, but Silence in with the God Strength. Goes for the stun straight up onto GH. GH trying to run himself out of there. Silence looks to chase, but he can't anymore. Mind Control turns up into town. And GH, in fact, he comes back in with the crush. Looks to control Silent, pops the Corrosive Haze out. They're trying to chase, get Matuma Man in range for the open wounds with the blinks there from Silent. Miracle's looking for some heroes, though. He finds Vanscore. Vanscore with the disruption. Holds back Miracle. They do get the Arctic Burn slow. Miracle will continue the chase down and take the Shadow Demon. They can't split up. The, they, they, that's, the rule of thumb, you can't split up versus Lifestealer. Lifestealer like infest bomb lineups like this when you have such an advantage. And now yeah. Book gets cleaned up as well in the mid lane. And it's going to be more downtime. 40 seconds until Book is ready. Venomancer and Shadow, Mino, Shadow Demon dead for a while. Yeah, this is the big worry now for Empire, as you say. Just yep. losing those pickoffs after a... A not ideal push. And they have wards everywhere on the side of Liquid. They're looking for Silent here. Do they have the Infest ready? Not just yet. It's about to be online. They're looking, but Silent does back up at a perfect time. And he's got to stay hidden. These two, uh -oh, very, very FN. scary. FN walking into vision, oh, though. Oh, they're seeing him, and they're straight on him. Miracle no holding back as they go in onto the Venomancer. Hood ain't going to save him. Does get the yeah, ult no. out. But, uh... Can Empire actually do anything with the damage? They're trying to leave forward with Silent, but the Winter's Curse holds back the Sven. Nice disruption, make sure the Sven doesn't take too much damage from that. Looks at the stun with a quick juke from Pretty Miracle, keeps him alive. GH indeed making the plays with his crush, allowing his team to come back in. Look towards Silent, they bring down the Sven. Cold Embrace, buying some time for Matumba Man, but the Impetus Pure damage still flies through. GH goes in once again, crush onto Meposhka. He may get punished for this one. The Impetus is gonna do a lot of damage along Dying with that urn, ticking him down low. But it's not enough to finish him. GH will survive. Picks up a solo crest, but as you say, he's he's doing some great stuff this deck game yeah. on the slaughter. He's getting like three he got like a three-man stun in the base, just now a three-man stun as well. Maposhka actually messed up there. He could have just impetus and ran away. That last impetus, yeah. if he had just turned around and hurricane and piked himself, it would have been a first sure kill on the slaughter there. But still they're showing that they can still fight into liquid. Or liquid stone that they can still fight into Empire in those type of grounds when they get the number advantage. But yeah, the deficit now in the gold yeah, it's getting it's almost evened out, and the experience is heavily in Liquid's favor now. Oh, so yeah, watch, watch this GH play, as you say. No, actually, meanwhile, in the, the main game, we've got Miracle. He's just playing around with the Enchantress. Miracle should be fine. Look at that stun. Hits all the books as well. And that's a full God Strength duration that just got kited out and disabled. Now Sil Silent in a lot of pressure here. Miracle chasing him with that Arcane Rune with the Kaya. Arcane Rune wears off. It's not able to... Distance himself with that Hurricane Pike from Iposhka. But now they infested infested Slardar with the Solar Crest finished up as well. I will TP back. Line's been drawn on the top lane. There's still a tier one and a tier two for the taking up top. Oh. 
GH just walked through vision, so they're, the, they're gonna know this. I think Empire, the smart way to do this is send four heroes top and just try to bait somebody for the play. Okay. Try to turn it around. Let's see if they can try to do this here. They're showing Ghost Stick. They have everybody else sitting behind. Is it gonna work? Radiance the trap is set. Is under Will attack. GH fall for it? He's, I think he just got, did he just get vision of that? I think he just got vision of that Venowar being placed in the river. But he was, it looks like he was gonna back away anyway. And the line is drawn by Matsu down the mid lane. You need to push out the lanes. GH really wants to do this play with Matsu. But as you say, it's a risky one. With the way that Empire are grouped up. This is good, good place here by Empire though. Stick together. Don't let yourselves get caught out again like this. You need everybody versus this lineup of Liquid. Things out to the mid lane. Out. Yeah, they look like they want to go for something here in mid. If you can take the Zeus out of the team fight at the start, there's a lot of damage you don't have to worry about. Yeah. They get some aggressive wards down in. Scan comes out, it catches oh. Empire on the high ground there. Liquid know what's up. Now, how do they want to react to it? That's the question. Do they want to try and take this head on them? It's a little risky. They don't have Miracle with them at the moment. Pushing out the bottom lane. Empire. They're waiting for some more information. They know that they're up there, but they don't know exactly all of it. Kuroki in a very good position here, ready to get oh, the first. Oh, very nice. But they know the blink came out before the Thunder goes rapid. A quick cold embrace of the mind control. Stops what Silent could do. They'll go for the roll on the battle. under the Bama. Miracle zips forward, takes down FN. Winter's Curse is out, turning Silent to beat down oh, upon the Enchantress. God. They've lost three. Liquid pulling them apart. They do lose GH in return. Goes to Camp Van Score, trying to TP out, and they won't quite make it with the Shadow Demon. The Lightning Bolt flies through. Van Score loses his life. Only Ghost Stick escaping. Not the fight that Empire were hunting for with that smoke at all. Liquid had their number. They turned it around on them. And Miracle starting to roll in the Bloodstone charges now. Up to 20 and well on the way to having a completed Orchid as well. This is... This is where you start to have big worries for Empire. As, as you were saying, you know, at the start it looked great. But as Kuro's soon as they fell these pushes... Instant cold embrace. Yeah. And then they focus the back lines with the Slardar and the Lifesteal. Lifesteal gets Rage off before the Roar, and beautiful Curse comes out, just instantly kills Miposka, who's been dealing a good chunk of damage in this game. He has, yeah. As the Enchantress. Yeah, we saw from the lanes, you know, he, he's been making some nice moves, got the quick six, and fighting through the, the cold embrace all the time to, to finish off those, those heroes, but when he gets yeah, taken out like that, there's just not a hope at all for the Enchantress. Mm -hmm. Now we're seeing the true power of Liquid's lineup, though. Takes yeah. a little bit of time to come online. Absolutely. And especially versus such a lane dominant lane but, uh, team, but, oh, Miracle top. There Actually gets brought down. That's without book. That's a big one. <laughs> Not surprising that they have enough damage to kill him there. Get rid of some of those Bloodstone charges. There's a lot of money going away in Miposhka. Yep. That's exactly what they need. And they do need that because this game, as we're saying, it's getting harder and harder for Empire. I mean, Miracle has an Orchid finished up now already. Oh, he's actually got it finished. On top of the Kaya and the Bloodstone, 45 mana Ooh. regen. I mean, whoever they jump on, it's going to die. Oh. They catch the smoke. They did see it in the mid lane. Liquid did go for it. Or Liquid did smoke, and they were under that one ward there. Yeah, are they going to be able to find anybody with this? Radiant and Scan comes out. Yeah, Ghost Stick's still sticking around. And Pops goes to instantly TPs as soon as that red circle appears. Two sold out. They know where everybody is now. Just a little too far away. How long do we have left on Roche? It's actually up, so they might make their way into there soon. But first, they want to get. They want to try to get some kind of pick off. Yeah, they've been hunting for a while now. Mm -hmm. I'm quite doing a good job at evading this. Silence still has no BKB, and he really suffers without that. And they're looking for him bottom. This could be the jump that they need. Oh, then they might just get him with this amount of physical burst. It's too much for Silent. The force is there buying him some time. The demonic push, but it doesn't matter. Mind control zaps him with the arc lightning. But Empire looking for revenge. Roar straight down onto Zeus. Miracles joining the fight. They're liquid. They've got the superior numbers. They'll turn and take down Ghost Dick. They do lose Matumba Man, but Miracles picking off the back lines. Finds the Vans core kill, and he's not done yet. Looks towards FN. He's been disarmed, but he doesn't mind as he still sticks around. GH closes the gap with the crush. Empire looking to lose all five heroes here as Miracle zips in, grabs the Enchantress from Aposhka down as well. It's a full five-man team wipe. Dude, with Arcane Rune and Kaya, you actually use like no mana when you're zipping. I think you get mana from zipping. Dude, look at this. Do you see how look much how that. far he's going? He, he didn't look at that. That's look, he's just doing it on purpose. 
the pigs but are GH is out. actually saying, like, dude, this is ridiculous. GH is currently writing a letter to Ice Frog and saying, please nerf my, my miracle. So five dead. Liquid goes on the high ground in 5k advantage. They lose Matu, but big win there for Liquid. Kyra and RK room. That is... That's disgusting. I mean, that that's that ain't standing again. I mean, he could... That's I think he could actually jump the majority of the distance of the map, and he only has 53 mana regen with I think that someone, I think someone tried. I think they said it with a Kyra and RK room, it's not enough to jump from your fountain to their fountain. Depends on how much regen you have, though. Sure, I think. And how big your mana so, pool is. Someone did the maps, and you still need it, but it, it's still absolutely It'd be phenomenal. close. Yeah, I was, I mean, that crazy. was crazy just seeing that. Cause he yeah. jumped from mid lane, and he was still like three quarter mana when jumping from mid all the way down to bottom. I'm gonna watch that again. <laughs> yeah, someone, someone did do the maps, and uh, it does equal balance. So. And they're not looking to stop at all, with the with the level 18 as well on GH plus Solo Crest. Just, let's spend just. He disappears. Here we go. Surprise, ladies and gentlemen. Goodbye, Vanskor. Shadow Demon sent back to the Shadow Realm. It's cool, too. This time around, Matu built a Crystalis, uh, the small crit in between. So with that uh, massive amount of armor reduction, he crits very hard. And now they're getting away. We're looking for the Rex. What's the answer from Empire? Only four alive. And there, there is no answer. They've got a fortification. And up top, Miracle. They'll take that one. All Silent's come into play. And uh, Silent, you, you're going to want to go home for this one. You don't want to play around with this one. Oh, that's all, Miracle. Getting those charges back up. GH on the hunt once again with Matumba deep inside him. Always looking for the plays. Non-stop. Oh, we've got another Meteor Hammer Mima. It's Kuro this time. He saw Yapso do it and he, he got it last game too. Oh, he did, sorry, yeah. He this did get it last game. Something about these supports. They love getting the Meteor Hammer. I'm rewatching the zipping right now. It's good, isn't it? It's pretty absurd. So, yeah, we've got the OS Frogs coming out. A few claps and a couple of lulls. Seems yeah. like Dota 2 to me. Game gets, as we said, game gets very hard versus Liquid once it gets to those later stages. And Empire had to play this perfectly without splitting up, getting caught by these infest, but it was still very difficult. I mean, it's looking, it's looking almost impossible now at this point. Oh, what's this? Up? Yeah, this is all coming together for Liquid and all falling apart for Empire. Now they've got what? Ags finished on my control and regen rune on Storm. They're looking for the jump onto Miposhka with the Nimbus. Goodbye, sir. More than enough damage. And the attack speed town as well from Miracle, so he's got enough to deal with that untouchable now. I mean, at least Empire had a nice start to the game. Now. They can look back on this game and they can just sort of forget the the 20 minutes onwards. But that's the this is one thing we've been talking about Empire so much, right? I mean, this game, they, their draft was literally like 100% lanes. They have to sure. super cruise through the yeah. lanes and win the game by like the 25 minute mark. But We've been seeing them struggle Radiant's so often after the laning phase. This time they had better direction though, for sure. Oh, what's the plan? Is there a plan? They need a plan. Miracle zipping in, finding the pick off with the Nimbus, just bringing the silent lower, get the BKB out in time, turns towards Miracle. Miracle's actually very low on mana here. Miracle's got to be careful. He's trying to finish your silent. It's not going to work. Aegis is gone. Maposhka did get taken down, buys back immediately. Miracle's ready for round two. Zips in straight, looking for Silent, and he's going to only go and find <laughs> oh it as well. God. The Orchid's down. Silent's out of the game for 60 seconds. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Well then. And this is... This is a 17k gold lead for the Liquid, 28 to 14. Oh, plus 1,000 night go. vision now on Slardar as well. Lovely. It's daytime though for three more minutes, but still. Yeah, it's it's Radiant. it's heavily gone out of control. It's massively gone out of control. Yeah. I mean, at least they lasted longer this time, Empire. That's you know that's progress. Yeah, I mean they got they got an early early tier three. They did, yeah, but faster than Radiant's the tier three that Liquid took from them in game attack. one. Mm -hmm. It's the little things. Radiance and this is Liquid. It's fallen. always going to be hard. These guys are absolutely insane. Yeah, they're monsters. At, uh, at Dota 2. Yeah. And they're a lovely bunch of guys as well, so, you know.
they've got a they've got a really cool like all around draft though. Like yeah. you know they they sure they suffer in laning phase, but it's all about break. You have to break high ground. You're playing versus Zeus and Winter Wyvern, so if you try to break that Splinter Blast plus everything else from the Zeus, it's really hard to break up there. And yeah, as we see, Ags being picked up from the Storm Spirit here from Miracle. So he's got that AUE Vortex. Yeah, it's gonna get fun now. And he's got a DD as well now to boot. Oh yeah. Let's see what they can do. Bottom lane, Ghost Stick trying to split push. Is, is Matu the lowest level on his team right now? Oh, no, no, okay. Well, Kuro's still the lowest okay. level. Matu's only level 20, though, and so is GH. So he's... He's been spending a lot of time infested. I mean, but you're comparing him to GH. I mean, this is GH. This, this kid's good. GH is... GH is... He's going to be the highest level in the game. In every game. <laughs> what, did he, what did he get at 20? Was that... Sorry, was that the night vision? He did get the night vision. Oh, sorry, that's yep. the 20. Okay. My bad. My bad. Wait, what's the other one? The other one, 40 attack speed. Oh, fi okay, it's 50, I was going to say. I mean, still. Is that an easy decision every time? The night it, vision? I mean, your support. I, yeah. I don't think you ever need to get that attack speed talent. Sure, you can bash people, but that's <laughs> not really... That ain't your job. Your job is just catching people for your teammates and getting sure. corrosive haze. The night vision to just throw haze out over and over again is really lovely. Miracle. With Matamba Pen. Oh, he's on the hunt. Yep. Who's Always he gonna kills. find? They're in the tree line. GH actually does get the blind stun onto Van's core. Silence there hunting. GH sends an up into the skies with the Yule Scepter. Silent comes back down, but Miracle Zip straight in onto the Sven. Silent down as Matuma Man picks him apart. They get both of the kills. More Bloodstone charges. 80.8 mana regen. The same HP regen that he had the last game on Timbersome, he now has as mana regen. It's the inverse Timbersome. Mm -hmm. Oh, Venno. Venno's got level 20. So if he can gale multiple heroes, he gets lots of it. What is this? Gale in fact summons two wards. Two that, wards. That sounds like a me. I want to see it. I want to see it actually. But it looks cool. If he hits five heroes, it's ten wards. It's a line of wards. That does actually sound pretty amazing. I'm looking forward to that. If he gets the chance to land the gale, that is. I don't hit. think it'll matter anyway. <laughs> yeah. Don't underestimate the wards. Bob. I'm not. Who needs backdoor region? It's not really helping. Now with the creeps in, there isn't an, even that to save them Radiant from the onslaught of liquid. They've got the fortification. Spends back in 12 seconds. Van goes back in two. The melee racks are down. There's the meteor hammer. There it Karoki. is. Aetherland's meteor hammer as well, so he gets that extra cast ring. Now that's smart. TI winner knowledge there. TI winner strats, everybody. Aetherland's meteor hammer. Start doing it in your pubs today. I, I really just want to see Miracle look for more arcane runes, to be honest. Just let the game hit 40 minutes, go for double runes. I want to see him zip across, zip across the map. There we go. Uh -oh, Sorry, being out. They want to go for the jump. He's got to be quick on the BKB. We'll see who's going to come out on top. He's going to be the... Oh, no. Doesn't want to jump it, GH has of yet. Okay, okay. I was kind of hoping he would go in on that one, but they don't have uh, mind control around. If, even if he doesn't get the BKB off, they have the disruption. So he, he can get he can get saved. Well, I can trust you got a refresh roll on that Zeus. Double Nimbus. Well, there's the Thunder Ghost Wrath coming out, giving the vision. Miracles, Miracles looking for the target straight away. Goes in, brings back Maposhka. Empire, they're trying to respond. Silent gets the beacon in the Ghost Strike out in time. He's turning towards Matuma Man, but Matuma Man inside the creep's going to be A-OK. -okay. Miracle forcing the rest of Empire back to base, zipping in under the fountain. Not quite enough damage to finish off Van Score. There's arms out from the FN onto Miracle, so he can't finish off the kills. They've only lost Maposhka. And in fact, Empire, they may find kills in return as they turn towards GH. The tower hits, bringing him down low. He Gets the blink off just in time. GH will survive. Matuma turns towards FN. There's the Gale summoning two wars. Defensive disruption from Vanscore will allow FN to get back for now. But Miracle's moving in and he's moving in deep, straight in onto the Beastmaster. Nimbus down as well, looking to finish him off with the Soul Burn of the Orchid. He does get the kill onto Ghost Stick. And Liquid do maintain this 25k lead. They win the fight. The crazy one as well, just zipping in beyond tier threes. Having no fear at all, that lack of lockdown that we talked about becoming so apparent at this stage of the game it's, as it's an absolutely free one for Miracle. He's, he's yep. only limited by his mana, that really is it. There's nothing else that he's scared of in this game. He's looking for runes. It's an invis bottom though. How disappointing. Not an arcane. Nah, nah. Feels bad. Wait two more minutes then. Two more minutes. There's going to be double runes. Absolutely. And it's going to be high it's odds of getting One of them is going to be an arcane rune, I'm sure. Probably. I'm sure. But there's the refresher. He's got, got it. All right. My control's mass. I haven't even looked at the net worth in a while. How far? Oh, it's not far up. Oh, hello. Oh, that's a crit and a half. 
Wait, was that? That was Thailand. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he's gone. And uh, Poshka is not looking any better for himself as well. Yeah, this game's over. Yeah, it's been over for a bit, for quite a while. It has. I mean, the series has been over. Some would say before it even started. Liquid 2 0 Empire in pretty convincing TI winning fashion as well. Yep. This time, sure, laning phase, Empire looked great, but that's exactly what they drafted for. They yeah. they got a tier three. They they go for a nice little dive to try to kill the Zeus. They kill him, but they end up losing so many heroes. They split up once on the map, get picked off a few times by the Infest Bombs. And Liquid, with their very high tempo late game lineup, just absolutely cruises through this mid to late game. Absolutely. What a what a dominant performance from Liquid. And yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's pretty much as you say. Nice to see Empire doing as well as they were in the laning stage. Maybe they can sort of look at these games. They, they can sort of consider where it went wrong. Because yeah. there's, you got, as a team, you look at this sort of game that you played, I imagine, against a team like Team Liquid. And uh, you can really look at why it was that they crushed you. You yeah. know, what it was that made their lineup work so well. And I mean, in this one, would you say the, the lanes, you, you said to yourself, they were drafted strong, but in terms of looking at the overall scope of the game, it was always going to be hard for Empire because of yeah. the, the way that they sort of lack any sort of control to deal with the the cause, this life stealer and, and storm spirit. I think they had to, they have to clean the raxes at such an early yeah. amount of time. And I mean, it's just tough. They have to play like a, this picture perfect game when Liquid can make mistakes as we saw. And as long as they make it to this stage, it's pretty much impossible for Empire if they don't have a huge net worth advantage. Ah, well, there we go. 2-0 for Liquid. We'll be able to bring in the panel, I believe. How are you guys doing? Another dominant performance from Liquid? Oh, not... What are they doing over there? What I blame Slax. Slax, sorry, lads and ladies. Oh, it's still on Slax us, huh? is messing around. Slax is messing Slax around. Slax is definitely messing around. And I know you guys want to see our fantastic panel, because they always have so many... So many wonderful things to say. How is and, the damage? Uh, we'll be able to bring them in now. Oh, Miracle actually beat Zeus in damage. Storm Spirit beat cool. Zeus. Wow, Nito. Wow. Cool, Fox. Thank you. I'm trying wow, to get the man. panel started and you two won't shut up. Okay. We, we sent it to you like <laughs> what? Yeah, we did. five minutes ago. All right, you back to the panel. You, you guys continue to ha ha over there. You've had enough screen right. time. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I miss them. <laughs> No, those two are great. <laughs> they do. Uh, they are uh, doing great. But so did Liquid. Oh, Liquid yeah. did great. And Empire, they started out great, you guys. An even quicker tower than Liquid did. A quicker tier three tower. They had oh, 12 minutes that, and 30 seconds. Oh my goodness. Is that the fifth fastest tower it of might this be, That's actually Knoxville? insanely fast. Ring a ding ding. Might just be the sixth this and now the other one will be the seventh. Well, this is Knoxville. It is statistically probable. <laughs> yes. No, that, I mean, they looked really good in the early game, and that's a Beastmaster. We see the power of the Beastmaster. The problem is they drafted, like, not a, they drafted around a Beastmaster. Like, let's push early, let's draft around it. Instead of drafting the Beastmaster with, like, a late-game carry or something, they had a Sven. But unfortunately, you were against a Winter Wyvern. And yeah. he, Sven, blinks in, thwacks somebody, and you're embraced. Yeah. By the coldness. It is a rough counterpick, uh, even though, like, picked it before this video. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. We can take a look at the replay, by the way. Sure, while, let's look at the replay, uh, guys. <laughs> take his, getting his uh, senses together. I mean, that was a dominating performance. He's just as knocked out as Empire are, apparently. Um, talk Ooh. us through this, Jake. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> this guy dies. Toodaloo. Wait a minute, Sheber. Does he die, though? Yes, he does. <laughs> he actually does die. And with the spin out, that's all their damage. They're going to try to focus on the Lifestealer right here, but they're split up, as you can see. What's going on over here? You need to watch this guy. This guy is Kaya. Damage. This guy is Kaya plus Arcane Rune. Kaya? Check out his mana pool, guys. It I literally does not move. Avert your eyes. Look at it. It's not moving. Look right there. He just blinked. He just went. Watch him. Watch him go. And watch what he does right here. Ready? He like Zip, 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 Literally, he just he zips everywhere. He actually doesn't lose mana. Yep. He can just zip everywhere all the time. How Unlimited. do you fix that, though? Like, that's such a... It's only a storm thing. Kaya Arcane Rune? Like, you don't want to nerf Kaya. It's already not going to get picked by anyone. Just you you could do something that the just the combination of the two might just not work as well. Just know. remove Storm. I'm so <laughs> sick of this stupid-ass hero. That could work. He broke Bloodstone. He made it an OP item. Now he's breaking Kaya. What's he going to break next? <sighs> Yule Scepter? The hero is a broken concept. He broke Blitz our spammed our him to get to 7k? That kid sucks. So... You know, Get rid of You're him. not wrong. I'm not wrong. <laughs> that hero has been a menace to this game since he came out, and I'm sick of him. 
ban, put him out of captain's mode until it's figured out. Hey, Jake, if you could talk to GH, what would you ask him? I'm gonna have some time to think about that <laughs> okay. question, Sheever. Corn dogs. <laughs> I wonder if he likes corn dogs, though. That is a good one. No. Boy, oh boy. If I could talk to GH, I'd just ask him, what's it like being a god? You know, you get picked up in Dream League, you've had one year, and then you go and win TI. Then you go and win everything. What's it like to be the, the messiah of Dota, GH? Hmm? I mean, he gets, uh, it's probably pretty nice, you know, being kind of young in the scene, get to be mentored by Kuroki. That has to be nice. Like, you're, you're partnered with another support guy who's literally a living legend. This yeah. guy's like Goku, you know? He just shows up. Which one? I don't know. SS2 or SJ4? I don't want Ooh, anime. Me I either. just said a random. Speak of the devil. Hello? Or speak of the god, sorry. Hey, JH. Good evening. Good evening Good indeed. E <laughs> what are you, Fedora. Count Dankula? <laughs> <laughs> Congrats on your series, on both your series, actually. The 4-0 Star to Dream League, strong. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have a question because... Dude, wait a second, I have to say this, because it's oh. so buggy. I can't hear anything because I'm in the net cafe and the connection is literally... I'm not gonna say it because this is a kids show. Yeah, it's so something bad. That's great. Well, but, you know, yeah. just make up your own questions. Yeah, make up your own questions. Just tell <laughs> us a story. <laughs> you wanna hear a story? Yes. You can See, hear you, us. You, you heard us. us. You goddamn liar. <laughs> I wanna I, I, tell us a story. Yeah, I, I don't really have any stories. Mm. <laughs> Let me think a second. All right, I'll tell you a story. No, I'm, I'm, I'm really not an interesting guy. Once you come and think about it, I'm just a regular guy. I don't have anything going for me. Just I chill. I know that's not true. Would you like to hear a story, GH? Yeah, I'd love to actually. It's great. Here's a story. <laughs> Once upon a time, one of the greatest legends of Dota 2 found a child out there in the world, picked him up, and brought him to Dream League. And it is at that league that he trained under Tuliage. He got so good, he wanted to Wait a second, wait a second. Wait this, a is, second. this is about you. Is that, is that the story of Finding Nemo? No, it's not Finding <laughs> Nemo. Oh. Not at all. All right, anyway, real questions. Uh, do you like corn dogs? Uh, yes, I do. Because uh, I've been once to the USA, and like in the US, you use everything to you, like you use corn for everything. That's yeah. what I've noticed. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, I guess. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, Grant, what's a real question? Now, I, so you're playing Sparta that game. You, it was when you were invading by that tier two in the Radiant. You blink in, you get a three man stun on Sparta. Some people oh. can't even get that as Tide Hunter. How, do, how did that make you feel when you hit that? Uh, it felt good because it buys a lot of time on Slardar and especially because he doesn't have that much of a big AoE, especially after the nerf, yeah. and it's like 1.5 seconds or 2. So getting that sun, especially after the roar, is good for us because we didn't like get insta bursted and gave us a lot of fighting power after the uh, initial suns. Yeah, hopefully Miracle thanked you because you saved his ass. Uh, I don't think he did. <laughs> I'm <laughs> grateful. <laughs> hey, against uh, a game that you had against OG earlier today, all your heroes are banned, or rather, five of your heroes are banned, like straight up. Do you feel like insulted or happy when they ban only you? They like, target only you? Uh, it's not insulting. It's flattering, actually. It's flattering. Cause they, yeah, because they think that I can play some heroes which I can't play. So it's like. Uh, jokes on them because I can't play any hero. So the more they ban, the more it's freedom for my teammates to shine. Got him. Th, wow. we gotta talk, man. This isn't a question. This is a life tip. All right. Kids like those edgy pro players. You're just a sweet, modest boy. They like the RTZs, you know. They like those crazy kids. So you're at a land. I just want you to yell out right now. Uh, I'm GH bitch as as loud as you can for these kids. I can't do that. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> <laughs> like it wouldn't come out out of me. I'm sorry. I really <laughs> That's that. why I love you, GH. We need the wholesome pro. We need slash. the wholesome yeah. pro, and yeah. you're you're it. You're my hero, GH. Are you not uh, gonna? I'm just a regular <clears throat> guy, man. Just play dots, enjoying myself. But this weather is so hot, actually. Okay. But you could also <laughs> play Dota in your house. Why, why do you always go to the LAN cafe? Like, why do you actually, like that I better? Can't. I can't, because like the internet connection. If I wanted to get the internet connection for my home, yeah, the, uh, the, I talked to some internet providers. They they offered me some uh, like it was a great deal. They offered me 200 kilobyte speed per second for 450 dollars. What? What? 
Yeah. That's, that's not great. That's a pretty good. Oh, it's not. Good. Oh, okay. I don't know oh, European oh, dollars. <laughs> that's not great. You said dollars, you idiot. Oh. <laughs> not European dollars. dollars. Yeah, okay. Dollars. Keep playing in the LAN cafe. I exactly. mean, it's going great, right? Yeah, but uh, I think I might move to the to our bootcamp place because it's like there are less distractions. Because here I have to hang out with everyone. Uh, don't get me wrong, I like hanging out with everyone, but it doesn't help me focus on my thing. That's, that's I true. Do. So I might move back to our land place, our like bootcamp. And where is that? In the Netherlands. Ooh, my country! Oh. Yes, are exactly. you guys boot camping at Sheeper's house? Not at my house. <laughs> 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 You could. There's a boot camp in Utrecht. Yeah. You guys. Uh, it's one... in Utrecht. Utrecht. Oh. Well done. Good nice pronunciation. Oh, yes. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> All right. Hey. <laughs> thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us, GH. I wish you a good evening and uh, with not too many distractions. And hopefully we get to talk to you again later on in the season. Uh, thank you guys for having me. Have a good night. You too. Thank you. Thank you. Damn, you lucked out. He could buy and sell your your house in the Netherlands. Yeah, in Utrecht. In Utrecht, <laughs> you'd be living on the Utrecht Street. <laughs> but that's not my city. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Where? What is your city? Den Haag. Oh. Den Haag. Or otherwise known as the Hague. We can take a look at the standings. Okay. By the way, talking about a Hague, there is a Hague in between the oh. number four and fifth position because only the top four makes it to land. And Liquid has, by winning these four games in a row, already moved themselves from the bottom place. No games played to the top four. So they're doing good and they're well on their way to um, to cement their position. I mean, they look dominating as ever. And that's big. They're four <coughs> and because we saw Secret play four series, their first four yeah. series yesterday, and they lost a game to Vega. Vega, I think. So, and already you see that four zero three one, and they are in fifth place because of that one loss right now. Yeah. Which is, it's just nuts. You you lose one game you shouldn't lose, and that could be curtains for yeah. your major's career. Curtains. Curtains. Yeah. The whole career of majors, you know? Yeah. Lose this, you don't get invited to any of Well, with all the majors dropping, really. <laughs> well, <could be>. you know? <laughs> uh -oh. It actually right. is a possibility. Secret has a chance to, to get themselves <laughs> higher today, though, because they have another series to play. They're playing it very soon against Mid or Feed. We're going to take a short break, but when we're back, we have more dotes for you.